Well, you're still on the midday news, and it's time for some entertainment. And talking about entertainment, still on Abraham Atta, he is back, and we heard the news that he was on the new Superman home, Homecoming movie set. And he came to Ghana at the press conference. We had a little chit chat with him, and he was telling us, or better still, recounting his experience on the Hollywood movie set. Superman returns to us. Spider-Man, I wasn't scared. It was so fun because all the stars were cool because I was like shy, like, because I'm going to meet big stars, but they were like, um, they are meeting a legend because they saw my movie and they thought, they said I did a really good job. And I was like, oh, thank you. Yeah, so I really love it on Spider-Man set. Ghanaian actor who has gone into National Ibrahimata recounting his experience for us on the new Spider-Man Return movie. Well, let's move on to Amakia Brose, who have, for some time now has not been, I mean, seen on the screen. Well, she talks to us about her not being on the screen, the fact that she is behind the scenes and she's doing a documentary that took her two years and also speaks about the way and manner we shoot our movies, how fast we shoot it, and the fact that it shall take some time to come out and then we can have a perfect thing there. I'm okay, I'm right here. I got into the media very early and I used to be a runner on set, so I've had a lot of jobs. So um, I actually love being behind the scenes every now and then, just kind of get my producer hat on. And um, I've been, I've worked on a documentary series I co-produced, which took us two years to work on, um, which should be out very soon. Where we're hoping to get that, me and my co-producer, Kate Avis. And um, yeah, I'm not on TV in the mornings anymore, so I get to wake up sometimes at 9 and 10 and that's glorious um, but I, I should be back on air very soon and there's a couple of movies I'm in talks with the producers um, so you know um, but for now I'm actually just enjoying not having to always be made up you know when they, you have to be on TV is a whole look but Charlie sometimes I don't want to wear no makeups so I just wear my duke and they're off I go <laughs> I feel like you know everybody in the audience and where they're doing their target audience somebody can take a week and shoot a movie and they make huge returns and you know and that works for them but for me there's certain things you just can't rush um, you know and sometimes like I know people who've gone into projects whether TV or films and that your preparation time alone could be six months for preparation so if you're taking six months to prepare and uh, maybe you can take one week to film but sometimes, too, somebody would just go out shoots. Hey, um, you know, there's there's different forms of the industry. Um, but for me, I just like to always take my time. Um, you know, emphasis on quality, and emphasis on just um, doing something that I'll just be happy with. Um, you know, and I don't. I, I always like to do things which can stand the test of time. So I don't like rush rushing. Um, you know, that's not to say that I'll never do a project which is quickly turned over. But I just like to take my time so I can give my best. I feel like if I've been, like right now I'm here, if you call me on set tomorrow, I can't give you my best. I'm not in character, I haven't developed um, the, the character that I want to play, so, oh, I'm playing. So um, time, patience, I feel like, and, you know, sometimes yields just, you know, amazing results. Well, that was Amakei Ababese. Now, now, moving on to the next story. On the 10th of September, there is the Glit African Style Fashion Awards happening at the Mervyn Pick Ambassadorial Hotel. And two of our, I mean, two of multimedia's best and finest have had, in, they've gotten the uh, nominations in there at the Glit Style Awards. Well, it is Makuma, Akuma, Mama Zimbi, and Nathaniel Ato. Well, we've been talking to them on what this nomination really means to them and take a listen to what they said. Akuma. Yes. For ever since we've known you, mm -hmm. this hair gear has been a trademark. And this year, the Glitz Fashion Awards, you've been nominated for the best individual style of the year. First off, how does it come to you, this, well, this nominee that you're in? I'm grateful to God that um, I'm seeing Africa have seen the African woman, Akuma Mamazimbi. From head to toe, I love to be the African woman, and that's what I do, that's what I stand for. What does this speak for you? Yeah, it means um, um, they've seen it, they like it. That is why I was nominated, you know, into the best individual style, okay? So it means I should keep it up. I should keep it up. Even if I'm outside Ghana, 
people recognize and they ask me, how do you do this? Where do you come from? I said, Africa, Ghana. It is all written over him. The 2016 edition of the Glitz Style Fashion Awards. He has been nominated as the most fashionable radio personality of the year. I'm talking about the almighty Nathaniel Atto. Nat, how are you doing? I'm great, my brother. How are you doing? I'm good. Okay, I like these. <laughs> and, and it is written all over you. It looks like, is this your normal daily routine? Uh, well, you'd see this when there's a, you know, when there's a bit of an occasion. What I normally like to do is I'll do my smart casual when, you know, when it's getting towards the weekend and um, you know when it gets when it gets towards the weekends as well there's a lot to do in terms of events and you know uh, gracing events and all of that so you know I'm an MC as well so there's a lot to do around that time so this is my I, I normally like to do my you know my self tie bow ties and my you know yeah. Uh, <laughs> so and then I I feel um, highly acknowledged, and I'd like to thank the team at Glitz Awards for recognizing. Because, like I said, this is a very genuine thing. I mean, this is me. Everybody who knows me knows that this is me. You know, so <laughs> they're not far away from it at all. So hey, like I said, it's a wonderful time to be Ghanaian. It's a wonderful, wonderful time to be someone who inspires others, and it's a wonderful time to be a style icon as well. Well, they say nobility is born with, but style is personal. You saw it, right? His name on the shoe. Yeah, he really has style. So make sure you are going or logging on to my joy online for the full list of nominees. The name is Ibrahim Benbako, and just sit back tight for Chencha Hene. <laughs>